Hello, everybody, and welcome to LaChamba.com. I am Neil Rodriguez. So I've been reading a lot about personal branding. Now I'm really delving into it because, as I said before, I've been real successful at using traditional methods of finding jobs to find work and to stay employed. But I like to evolve. I like to evolve and to start to leverage all these Web 2.0 platforms in order to have employers knocking on my door. And I want that to happen for you as well. So I like to communicate what I've learned, what I'm learning, how am I experimenting with it, and how I'm progressing with it, how it's working for me. So I already spoke a lot about how I've personally branded myself online. I've been reading about a certain author to a book. I forgot his name, Dan something. He's going to drop a new book at this called Me 2.0. And he had some interesting tips to offer on Mashable, which are pretty cool, some of which he says... Don't just try to build your personal brand on the typical sites that are built for personal, building your personal brand, such as LinkedIn. I mean, by default, you go to LinkedIn and you start to build your profile, but he says to not just rely on that. Now, he talks about something along, along the lines of what's worked for me. Start in the older sites, CareerBuilder, Monster.com, and ensure that your resume is up there. He says that to ensure that you have your face on a lot of social media media sites and to build followings on he said the more of a following you have the more people with whom you can connect once for instance god forbid you are laid off you can tell them listen i'm laid off now you have a number of people to whom you could advertise that you are laid off and possibly increase the chances of you finding another position and having uh, more of a seamless or an integration into another employer without being laid off for too long or maybe not even being out of work at all. You'll probably get a job offer the next day. I mean, I know it's happened to me where people give me offers while I'm working at one place and I'm, I'm able to move over. I haven't moved over. I mean, sometimes I've moved over. Sometimes I don't feel like moving over. So this increases the chances of you doing that if you start to learn how to leverage these tools. As I said yesterday, I, w I was talking about citing and alluding to Jack Trout to Al and Laura Rees, how they talk about branding, how I believe they've helped a few Fortune 500 companies. It was interesting to note that I was talking about the Blockbuster incident, the Blockbuster venture when they tried to launch Blockbuster Music and it was a complete failure. I walked, I, when I was walking to work this morning, there's a Blockbuster across the street. And I looked to the left and... The awning reads Blockbuster Media. So it's not Blockbuster Video anymore. I think it's Blockbuster Media. I was thinking about it. They, they're doing it because I guess they rent out games and they rent out all this other, all these other items that could be cataloged as media. But they're losing focus. I think they're just grasping at straws right now. Netflix has really taken the game because they have focused. They're focused to the point that they've mastered the mail order DVD rental business. So you have to focus. Focus on your identity online. Remember, a jack of all trades is a master of none. So if you're going to set up a blog, want to set up a hub to which people can gravitate whenever you post your content, whenever you post your expertise and establish yourself as an expert, ensure that you focus. You focus on something in which you're passionate. That's based on another ebook that I also that also reading by Chris Brogan. He's got about two free ebooks that I like. And he states that you should absolutely focus on your identity. So that is a recurring theme across all these personal branding sites that to focus. Just like Al Rees, Laura Rees, and Jack Trout said years ago, said years ago how the best brands they they flourish and they are they become successes by focusing, focusing, becoming individuals. You can't be like everybody else. Interesting to note that in Barry Cohen's book, Killer Cover Letters, he said, if you seek jobs just like everybody else, you'll end up just like everybody else. So you have to you have to personally brand yourself in the same fashion. You have to find something in which you are truly passionate, something that you can continually speak about, All right, where you have all the ins and outs. Like, I have a passion for finding jobs, for helping people find jobs. I also have a passion for fitness. I could sit down and I could talk to you about fitness and fitness. I mean, I've kind of prioritize finding jobs because I want to help people right now. I know that a number of people, they need assistance in it and I'm pretty good at it. So I prefer to do that right now, but I could also talk about fitness. I could talk about <clears throat> combining a meat and fruits and vegetables diet, at least from Monday through Friday and being lean, you know, going out every morning before the sun goes out and working out, getting in 
31 pull-ups in, running four laps. I can talk about what different foods do to you, how sugar had me one time looking at Batman Returns, eating too much sugar, had me looking at Batman Returns as if it was in 3D and I was ducking the swords and everything. So that's after drinking a big gulp of, I think it was Mountain Dew Red in an AMC theater here in New York City out in Whitestone. So I know about this stuff. I'm passionate about it. I learn about it. And I tell you all the ins and outs. It's like I could go ahead and cite a lot of, of my earlier vlog posts where I talk about all these tips, all these techniques that have worked for me and that have worked for others where you prepare yourself and you memorize answers a typical interviewing question so you are prepared before an interview and you demonstrate that you're the ideal fit to the position for which you are applying. I don't know how many times I've said that already, but it's to memory. And I can continue talking about this. I pretty much stop under the 10 minute limit because I'm uploading this stuff to YouTube. I'll probably put it somewhere else if I ever have to speak at a longer length of time, past 10 minutes or so, maybe Vimeo, they've got good quality videos, but we'll get into that later on. I'm just focusing on the message right now, all right, on the message of personally branding yourself, getting yourself out there. I like Dan Style. That's his name. I know that's his first name, Dan. I'll get you the last name. I'll probably cite it in the text. I like his style because he says that to you have to syndicate your brand in all places. He cites, he cites, I think it's Pete Cashmore, I think he's the guy from Mashable, how he's everywhere, he has a following everywhere. Well, you can do that, you can establish that. You just have to hit these communities, and you have to share content, and you get to know people. You get to know people. The more people with which you can work, the more people that'll link to your blogs, that'll follow you on these websites, and the more people that will help you increase the chance of finding the job that you truly want. I thank you for watching. My name is Neil Rodriguez. Until next time.